Hey, it's uh, Mick from Hillbilly Camping. We're just uh, here today. We're going to cook up um, this roast. Well, I've got a bit of a variety of the roast there. We're going to cook up a roast pork, a roast beef, and a marinated beef. And we're going to cook it up on a new product that we've made, which is a, a spit designed to go onto our cook stand. And um, it's pretty straightforward. We sold it up the pork, so that's ready to go. We've got a bit of bush spice on the beef. And we've marinated the other piece of beef there. So basically like any spit, you need to skew it reasonably centre so it's well balanced. And with that one we'll put two skewers into that. That'll hold that pork nice. The other beef we can separate a little bit. So we'll just get that skewered onto there. Actually, we won't. We'll put the skewer on first. <laughs> That'll make it a lot easier. And then we'll get that down onto there. And the other bit of beef, I think, we can skewer as well. And they'll just sit together. And you could put extra prongs in there if you wanted to, but with that, that'll tighten up and that'll be that'll be quite good. So what we do now, with this spit, you need to get it onto the spit to start with. So you push it through the first little bit. This is another bracket that goes over the centre. And then your motor, this fits onto the other end. For this bracket here, it's important that you push that up to the front and lock it off. And what that does, it stops the bar moving away from the motor and the bracket's designed so that the motor can't come out. It's as simple as sitting straight onto the cook stand and adjusting your height. So stand, we're just using lump wood charcoal today, so we've got the fire pit there with the charcoal. That'll go straight onto there. We'll just turn her on. And with that, you can adjust your height any time. You can just move it up and down. All right, the spits have been on for about an hour and a half, a little bit longer maybe, and uh, we better check them and just see how they're getting along. Um, so the easiest way to do that is just lift it up and off the fire. We'll turn it off. And just a meat thermometer, basically. We'll just put it in there. We'll, uh, as long as that comes up to the... Uh, 60 to 70, maybe a little bit more. Um, you're, you're looking pretty good. And they're, they're well in range there, so they're done nicely. So a pair of gloves is quite handy because this part will be hot. You need to be able to pick that up and carry it away. So you basically just take it off, sit it on your foil, and um, you can take your glove off then, basically. But a pair of pliers is quite handy if you want to undo your skewers. I'll get that around there. Just slide them off. Slide off your meat. It's a little bit warm, but it's not too bad. With the pork, it, you can cover the beef up. That'll uh, just rest for a little while. But with the pork, try not to cover up the crackling because it'll just uh, go soft. So leave that out. And um, there we go. All done.